Hi everyone, in this video I will show you how to use DeepSeek R1 for free with this continue.dev VS Code extension to generate unlimited number of codes for free. And this is going to be the best free AI coding setup because in my last DeepSeek R1 detail explanation video I have told you that it is beating OpenAI O1 and it is completely free. So how to integrate? First of all, install Olama from this olama.com website. Go to this download and here you will find all of the operating system. So according to operating system, you please download it. After that, go to this page I have given in the description box. Here you will see DeepSeek R1 and here various models are given like 1.5 billion, 7 billion, 8 billion and 14, 32, 70 and maximum 671 billion model and here if you see this drop down, all of the model size are given. So according to your space that is available in your operating system and machine, then uh, you please download it. Okay. So by default, the size is 7B. If you uh, copy this command, Olama run DeepSeek R1, it is by default 7 billion size. Um, now I am installing this 8 billion size. So if I click on this 8 billion, here you see that uh, this is colon 8B is written. So if I now copy this and open any of your terminal or command prompt and run this command, press enter. So you will see this success message. Okay. Now after that, uh, just open your VS code and install this continue.dev extension. After that on the left hand side, you will see this uh, icon. This is the continue.dev icon. And here you will see a drop down. Follow my cursor. You will see a drop down. And here you will see that add chat model. Okay, so just click on it. And here in this provider section, just open this provider and select this Olama. One thing you see that there is also a deep seek option, but don't click on it. If you click on this deep seek, then it will ask you to use the official deep seek API, which is not free. Okay, so if you want to use the deep seek free version, then just click on this Olama. Okay. And here just select this auto detect. Okay. And now click on this connect. Now after that in this drop down, you will see this auto detect deep seek R1 8B as I have installed 8 billion. If you have enough space, then you can go for this uh, 32 billion or 70 billion parameter model. Then you will get the best output. Okay. Now here I will want to build a app. So for that, I have some prompts. Let me open that prompts. Here you see that I asked ChatGPT for some app ideas and I'm copying this habit tracker app idea and I'm pasting this here. And if I press enter, you will see that I will get the output. And here you see that in this drop down, my DeepSeek R1B is selected. Okay. So let me show you here. You see that First, I should outline the main components. The app needs a way to log each day's habit. So maybe a form where users can input what they did. So it is doing the planning right now. After that, it will give you the architecture like front end and back end and it will give you the code. Okay. So here you see that I am getting this type of output. This is the best output as I have already told you right now because in the last video so if i show you in this video uh, let me show you that video this was the video like command uh, r7b plus continue.dev when i did the same uh, setup and run the same command for this habit tracker there i got the response instantly uh, there that model didn't give me the architecture but here in this uh, deep seek R1, I got the architecture, I got the plan for this app, like uh, what features this app should have and uh, what is the step by step procedure and I am very much happy with this output because here you see that uh, it is doing all of the things in a clear way, right? Now it is generating this um, app in simple vanilla javascript and html css but if you ask it to write the code in next.js or react.js then it will do that also okay so i hope you got the point how to use this and it is completely free guys now if you want to use this uh sig r1 uh, with the client or root client then you can comment me below in the comment section i will make a separate video on that also 
okay and if you are visiting this channel for the first time please don't forget to subscribe this channel because it really motivates me to make this type of videos for you guys only and uh, see you in the next video thanks for watching until then please don't forget to watch the other videos also that i have published